Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Tanya M, aka Diablo Verde. Thanks for returning to my channel if you are a little subscriber. If you're new, you need to uh, pull up a chair and stay. Stay a while. Go ahead and hit the subscription button down below and then hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload new content. So today is going to be another wig review. And I think I'm going to make this an extended review because I want y'all to see how these wigs function on a daily basis so i'm gonna put her on so it's early in the morning it is 9 45 it's not that early <laughs> it's 9 45 in the morning i'm about to put this wig on record the video the initial part of the video then go about my day and then come back later and tell you the end results um how it held up did it tangle was it a nuisance etc etc so before we go ahead and get into the video i just want to say thank you to sam's beauty for sending me this wig Thank you for being a loyal supporter of this channel. This is by this wig that I'm doing today. I already took the bag off, but it's by Sensational. It is one of their what what lace hairline illusion lace wig, 100% premium fiber. I got her in the style Celeste, and I got her in the color rose gold or money piece rose gold. So I haven't seen a review um, for Celeste. Not a, I think I've seen like one maybe for this particular color so i want to get her in a color that wasn't done so much on youtube because she's already been reviewed like a million times on youtube so initially coming out of the package my fingers are running through the hair fairly easy she is a light colored wig so i i'm not gonna lie i did watch some um previous reviews on this unit and there were complaints of tangling a lot um i did also see a complaint of how spaced out like the knots were really big and spaced out i don't really expect a five star um handmade wig from a company that basically makes um they pump out wigs like this okay so i don't really expect to see like the best um, this is what she looks like on the stock card. Her name is Celeste, again. Inside, it shows you how she looks on a model. Yeah, so and it says it's heat safe up to 300 to 400 degrees, or 350 to 400 degrees. Um, if you decide to flat iron her, it tells you that the, cut, the hairline is 100% customized. It's hand-tied and pre-plucked um, pre to create a realist, realistic natural distance. I can't read right now. To create a realistic natural density illusion hairline. It said that the lace is supposed to be undetectable. Um, it is very light colored. So I will have to add makeup. And it says it's well crafted. Soft with lace from ear to ear with combs and adjustable straps for a secure fit. So it's 13 by 6 ear to ear. Let's take a look at the cap construction inside out. So there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of party space. It is th definitely 13 by 6. So I do appreciate that. Um, she's kind of tangly. This is going to be a light color. This is going to tangle. Off the strength of, I know for sure, light color wigs is tangling around. They tangle quicker. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the process I don't know if it's the material they have to use or the process they have to go through to get the wig that color or get the hair fiber that color but it's going to tangle. I'm actually going to use my razor comb to cut this because in my opinion it leaves a better like it leaves a jagged line which lays better. If you my honey, if you're not light, if you're not light skinned or rice skinned, this wig is not gonna match your skin tone. So don't expect it to just blend perfectly right out of the box. You're gonna have to customize it. And I always say customize. I customize my synthetics and my human hair wigs. Like you're going to have to customize. Okay. Okay. So what am I going to do to customize? I actually have a. Uh, um, this brush that I put my makeup on earlier with. If you like the wig I am wearing, I will definitely put a stock card up above. That way you can click on it and go to that video 
and I will also leave a link down in the description box if you um, don't want to wait till at the end of the video to go and watch it. This is my Makeup Forever foundation stick in the shade Y505. It is a little bit lighter than my foundation. Um, this is perfect for like replicating my scalp. Okay, so now that I put the foundation on, it does um, seem undetectable. Because I know if I didn't, it would have been a, a mess. Um, ooh, this is tangling kind of bad. And there is a lot of shedding. I really feel like this wig needs some thinning out um, to get rid of the tangling. Well, okay, so after I brush her out, I don't want to say she's tangling extra, like to the point where I'm just disgusted. I will be taking my paddle brush with me and it just fell <laughs> but I have black pants on and this is not a good look <laughs> all right so this is what she looks like I think I am going to put some got to be glue just to hold it down on the side okay, so this lace isn't really melting as much as I would like like I could still detect the lace and I don't know if it's because I, I don't usually use got to be glue when I um, lay my synthetic wigs I usually well when I lay my wig so when I lay wigs I usually use my wig glue or my lace glue and um, I feel like and I feel like um, that probably helps it to, to melt better but you know I don't know so I'm gonna lay some baby hairs Okay, so I lay the baby hairs. I'm waiting for it to dry. Okay, so this is how she looks. Um, right now my fingers are running through her pretty easily. I'm still getting shedding. Uh, my fingers are running through her pretty easily. Oh, <laughs> not really, but it's okay. It's not like the smoothest. I just feel like. When you work on the hairline this awesome, you need to work on the hair too. Like, don't just do one part of the wig. You gotta do both. Even if you gotta sell that bitch for a hundred dollars, like, it is what it is. Like, they want quality. They gotta, you gotta pay for it. And this just, um, this wasn't it for me, baby girl. Still shedding. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna go out and run my daily errands. She got to take a drug test for this job. And then I will come back later in the day and let y'all know how I feel about it. And if I decide to customize it as far as thinning her out, will that help and whatnot? Who knows? We'll see. Be right back. I'm going to go ahead. I was walking around my house and doing some things. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to thin this out. Because it's not bad like in the front area. It's more so towards the back where it needs to be thinned out. Because I think that'll help. I really think that'll help with the um, how tangly it is. So, sorry. So I'm just going to brush it out real quick. And I guess I can do, I'm going to pin it up. And this is a quick way. This is so easy. Okay, guys. So, I think the wig is really good because of the the lace 
and the hand tied um, knots and all that. But this hair quality, it just wasn't banging. These are thinning, thinning shears. So thinning. These are thinning shears, and you can get them at your local BSS. And I'm just taking sections and I'm cutting one, two, three, and just, yeah. So, just taking this comb, I'm not even, I'm just going to brush, because it's so thick, it's like, <sighs> and you see how the hair comes out, but it's, it's not actually cutting the wig. Alright, we're going to do it again. I'm probably going to do about three or four times. And I'm going to do the other, the other part. Because it's ridiculous how, like, ooh. That's too much hair, guys. Hair companies, are you, if you're listening to me, that's too much hair. And that's why your wigs tangle, and that's why people are turned off from buying them. You gotta think, you gotta think. Um. Do it one more time. Just pull that hair out. See how much easier my hand flows through it? Yes. This is what you want. I'm gonna try to do it here too because it's kind of thick, like it's just thick everywhere. And this is so easy, like, guys, don't say, oh, I'm not going to do that. And little, little. This is so easy. easier compare okay feel this look at this and then look at this you back up like tangling and it looks oh it's like a lot of hair this looks more natural especially the ends look at the ends and look at this so this is how much hair I pulled out that one side just that one side this was clearly too much hair on the wig, and that's why it's tangling so bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and um, come back. Okay, my camera's only on 3%, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So I went ahead and did the other side, and look how smoothly the brush is going through now, guys. Thinning out the wig definitely helps. It's still a long wig, it's still gonna tangle. Human hair wigs still tangle, but this is a big improvement from what it was like dog y'all cannot tell me i'm not the goat okay <laughs> let me show you the back now that i thinned it out it moves really nice almost got dizzy and fell let me try it again it moves really nice and it flows well flows well I'm gonna still wear it 
throughout the day and y'all can um so y'all can see what it, you know how it looks at the end of the day it it tangle anymore etc etc but i don't think it will <laughs> see you guys later okay loves i am back and it is not the end of the day but it's the end of my day so i have i have um ooh. so i literally have been just going through um my day doing what i usually do um that not necessarily doing a lot because I am uh, right now until I start work on the 22nd. I am not working. So just, you know, taking care of things and running errands. And it was really windy today in Philly. Um, we had a really horrible thunderstorm last night. And it was really windy today in, in Philly. So imagine this wig just blowing around, blowing everywhere. Da -da -da, and she's still able to move her fingers through. So if y'all are looking for a wig with the ease of this, Follow my method. Like, this hairline is bomb as usual. Let me get like a screenshot here. Hairline bomb as usual. So, <sighs> I'm loving it. And I'm recommending her with, of course, the steps that I gave to you. Thank you for watching. If you're looking for more honest reviews and tutorials, please click the link down below and follow me on my Instagram. The links will be down in the description box. Bye.